Good night. Good night. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry guys, estaba hablando alone, estaba hablando sola, <laughs> soy bien inspirada yo, y solo hablando conmigo, <laughs> okay guys, welcome back, hello everybody, hello, uh, you are hello, 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 guys. hello, 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 maybe good to see you. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, remember uh, that today you have to finish the task number five, right? Tenemos que terminar la tarea número cinco este día. Okay? So, para que lo tengamos en cuenta, si no lo hemos terminado, la otra semana vamos a hacer el midterm test y nos quedarían dos semanas. Okay? Let's start with lessons. Give me just a second to share with you the presentation. Okay, let's see. What did we study yesterday, Jose? Can you help me? What did we study yesterday? Mm -hmm. Jose, hello? 
hello there, I'm just saying what time. What does the adjective? Oh yes, right, we study the possessive adjective. These are the possessive adjectives. Mm -hmm. What are the possessives? <coughs> what is on? Which are they? My, your, uh, their, her, their, her, 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 her. my, they, their, her, our, his, its, our, our. Okay. Esto usualmente va acompañado de un noun, right? For example, my car is una palabra, right? That is like the, the main difference. What about the possessive nouns? ¿Cómo formamos el possessive noun? What do we use for the possessive nouns? We use the Apostrophe, right? The apostrophe. To, to this, to indicate, right? Their possession. For example, Rachel's, Rachel's car. My teachers, teachers, um, Back. Okay, so as you can see, we have the possessive nouns, también que van acompañados por palabras, sí, de los nouns. Okay, good guys. Let's continue. And uh, in this lesson, we are going to study vocabulary, right? And some demonstrative adjectives. Es esto. ¿Cuándo lo vamos a usar también? Okay, let's go with the first so I want to ask you this, right? I want you to name, name five things that you use in an office. Cinco cosas, right? Five things that you use in the office or que podemos encontrar and you can find right, in the office. We start with uh, Roxana. Tell me what things can we have in the office? Que objetos we can find in the office? Mm -hmm. Roxana, que objetos? What objects? Hello, tenemos problemas con el audio, Roxana. Yes, okay, okay. No, no problem. Vamos a pedir ayuda a alguien más. Okay, Dora. Thank you, Dora. Tell me, please, what objects we can find in the office? An object. Desks. Yes, we can find desks, right? Mm -hmm. What else? Give me five. Pencil? Pencils, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Computer? Computers, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, how do you say papelera? Mm, papelera, let, let me check. I don't remember that one. Let me check. Uh, uh, let, 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 me sh let me. Waste basket, waste paper, waste. Um, mouse. Hmm? mouse, mouse, okay, ahí tenemos las cinco, okay, perfect, thank you, okay, let's see another five objects, Alejandra, ¿qué otros cinco objetos podemos agregar to the list? What other objects can we add, podemos agregar algo, verbo, agregar algo, okay, so, um, what other objects, Alejandra? Perdón, teacher, no le había ido mi nombre. Um, Podría ser books. Yes, we can find books. Right? 
Ya estoy presente, teacher. Okay. 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 Thank you. Vamos a continuar with you, right? Okay. Thank you. Let's continue, please, Alejandra. ¿Qué más? What else can we find in our workplace? ¿Qué más podemos encontrar? What else? Boxes, por ejemplo. Perdón. ¿Qué más podemos encontrar, Alejandra? In the workplace. Work. Escritorio, pero no sé cómo se dice. What, ¿Cómo di? What did you say? No sería table, sino que sería escritorio. ¿no? Oh, desk. Uh -huh. Ya tenemos desk. desk. There's desk. two, right? Um, uh -huh. También en algunos casos podemos encontrar por tarde de trato. Pictures, right? Pictures. Um, yes, basically that, right? Podemos encontrar también cabinets, right? La grapadora, la straightler. Laptop. Computer. Computer, yes, right? Laptop. Laptop. Um, bagage es como se ve como una maleta al final no no es bagage no es paper to write la folia no chair chair yes ya tenemos we have chair here okay yes that's right we have different books right okay let's have a look of the following conversation So who wants to help me read the first part? Who wants to read the first part? Volunteers to read? Okay, Jonathan, thank you. Go ahead, please. Good evening. Good evening, Jonathan. Yeah. Hello, Claudia. I am Robert. Welcome to our company. Continue. Hello, Robert. It's nice to meet you. This, this is your desk that the closet for your coat. Let me show you around. Okay. Around. Around. Thank you, Jonathan. Can you Right and around, right? Let me show you. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Let's continue with the next paragraph. Can you help me, Venice, please? The next paragraph, please, Venice. Okay. Um, perdón, ¿dónde se quedó? Here. Okay. Uh -huh. Thanks. Office supplies, like paper folders and CDs are in those cabinets over there. The printers are here and this is the only copy match mm, copy machine. machine. The paper is in densest drawers below the Printers. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Denise. Um, so we have different words, right? Palabra supply, supply, que son los, el suministro, el suministro, or what we have. En la forma plural sería supplies, right? We have the supplies. Then we have another word. Let's see the drawers. We have the word drawer, right? Yes. Los cabinetes right, o las cajas por Ok, now you, know, you have another word, right? That maybe you have a question. No sé si alguna otra palabra, any other word? No, ok. So let's continue with the next paragraph. Can you help me? Uh, let's see. Sofía Portillo, can you help me, please? The next paragraph. Good evening. Good evening, Sofía. Uh, 
Thanks. That's good now. Now let me introduce you, Ken. He's on your team. Ken, this is Claudia. She's our new sales manager. Nice to meet you, Claudia. Nice to meet you, Ken. Those photographs are beautiful. Are you a photographer? Okay, perfect. Very good, Sofia. Excellent. So we have some words, right? Tenemos unas palabras here. Tenemos el verbo introduce, right? Introduce. Permítame eh, presentarte, right? Introduce. Presentar, introduce a alguien. Es esto. Estamos como eh, introduce, right? Presentando, like. The way it is, right? Alguien. So that is the third introduce. We have another. Tenemos esta, estas palabras. Vamos a ver. Ya le vamos a ver this word. No sé. Is there any word, guys? Any word that you may have questions in that paragraph? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, what? What do you say? Photograph. Photographs. 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 Mm -hmm. Photo. Photo. Photographs. Photographs. Mm -hmm. With EF, right? Photographs. That is it. The way. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Let's continue with the next one, right? Can you help me? Let's see. Andrea Maria, the next paragraph. Mm. Hello. Hello, Andrea. Uh, well, photograph is my hobby. Those pictures are from my trip to Thailand. That photograph on the left is great. What is it? Uh, it's the Royal Palace in Bangkok, my favorite place. That's great picture too. Okay, perfect. That's a great picture, right? And then we can have a photography, right? Photography. Well, photography is my hobby. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Can you help me? And let's see, Victor, please. Can you help me with the next one? Hello, Victor. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, Victor. Okay, can you help me with this paragraph, please? Those little girls are my sister's children. She lives in Baku. Sorry to interrupt, but we have a management meeting in 20 minutes. It, it is in the conference room. It is, uh, is the, this way, this, this way, now the hall let's get some coffee before the meeting okay perfect thank you victor we have some words here right the name of the word live live right the verb live yes the verb vive right living right también hemos escuchado live pero con otra pronunciación pero tiene otro significado también Incluye bastante la pronunciación. We have the verb interrupt, right? Interrupt. The same, right? As in Spanish. We have the other word management. Management. Manage. And that means la dirección, right? O la gestión. Something administrative, right? Then we have, creo que tenemos la otra palabra. Let's see another. Okay, we have the word whole, right? Whole, whole. That means pasillo. Pasillo, entrada to. Corredor, can be. So little. I'm sorry? Little. Oh, little is pequeño, right? Those little girls son como estas niñas. Estas niñas, yeah, small, right, little. Estas niñas, I want to translate. Okay, there is another word that 
pongamos un ejemplo en CA. Tenemos la palabra those, those. Tenemos la otra palabra, these, these. Tenemos la otra, this. That. Vamos a ver estas cuatro palabras right now. No sé si hay dudas, questions. No, okay. So we have here vocabulary, right? About the workplace. Okay, let's go to the, the grammar section. Vamos a ver lo que son los demonstratives. Utilizamos, we use this, that, these, and those. Okay. The difference, right? Vamos a verla. Vamos a utilizar this is my desk. Cuando tengamos una palabra en singular. En este caso la palabra es desk. Nos está indicando uno. Vamos a utilizar those, those. Cuando tengamos una palabra en plural. Those desks are for me employees. Ok, tenemos entonces los singulars en plurals. Tenemos this, that, para lo que es el objeto. Por ejemplo, this book. Podemos decir this book is mine. Or this, this is my cell phone. Ok. So, estamos diciendo este, este, o esta, right? That is like the way we can say it. Then we have these, these. Con ese tengamos cuidado porque la pronunciación es el sonido de la letra Z. These. Ok, para hacer la diferencia entre el singular y el plural. So, we have these and those. Y tenemos que hablar de right? These cabinets are for supplies or are not. Questions about this part? No sé si hay dudas. No? And this, that. And that, if, oh yes, Gabriela. Verdad que la diferencia entre this y that es que uno está cerca y el otro lejos. Yes, eso es lo que vamos a ver, right? In this part. San María, sí es Gabriela, that's right. Ok, yes, y lo que nos decía Gabriela lo vamos a ver a continuación in this section. Pero se los recordemos, this, esto, esta, right? That, aquel, algo que está lejos. These, estos, estas, algo que está cerca. Y dos, algo que está lejos, ellos, right? O esos también. Vamos a ver entonces a cómo lo podemos usar. Tenemos, como ya vimos, cuando algo está cerca, near. Use this for a person or thing near you, algo que está cerca. This desk is Amanda's. This paper is for the printer. Tenemos el that, algo que está lejos, that. Near, algo que no está cerca de usted, right? That printer. También veamos el verbo. No podemos utilizar, por ejemplo, con this o con that, el are. Ok, tenemos cuidado with that. Lo mismo pasa con this y those. Uno está para cerca y el otro para lejos. No sé si hay dudas about this part. Questions? No questions, guys. La forma negativa, the negative form. Vamos, I'm going to use los ejemplos, right? This book is not or isn't mine. La otra forma, this book is not my book. Okay. 
Esa es la forma negativa, va siempre al lado del verbo to be right. Ya vimos las contracciones, and aren't. Ok, questions, guys, about this part. No? Ok. So let's, let's finish the grammar section with this part, right? Con las preguntas, questions, questions. Ok, so we have que vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, who. Podemos utilizar who. To identify people, ask questions. Who is bien, right? Who is that new teacher? Who is that? Para identificar a alguien. ¿Quién es él? ¿Quién es ella? ¿Quién es el nuevo profesor? Who is that person? Then we have what to identify things or ask questions. What is that noise? Or what is that? ¿Qué es eso, right? Yes, Dennis. Eh, una pregunta, teacher. Estas láminas que nos presentan en las clases, eh, ¿hay algún lugar donde las podamos descargar para tenerlas? Irla viendo. Fíjese que eh, tenemos el libro. Yo utilizo los, los dos. Los... Ajá, es que hay algunas que no están algunas, en el libro. Lo que puedo hacer es compartir las imágenes en WhatsApp. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, porque está, hay algunas que no las vamos a encontrar en el libro. ¿no? Es como material complementario. Ok. Ok, Dennis. Ok, and then we have, luego tenemos con los precios. Tenemos para preguntar. ¿Cuánto cuesta? How much? How much is this printer? How much is this? ¿Cuánto es esto? En el caso que sea plural, vamos a utilizar how much are these printers? Or how much are these? Questions about this? Okay. So we have the other question, right? How much is this copy? Podemos responder con it's, it's, por ejemplo, si le digo, how much is this cell phone? Oh, it's $20. En el caso que sea eh, plural, uh, how much are these? Podemos responder, we can answer, they are. I'm going to write an example here. How much is this car? It is or it? $5,000. Uh -huh. Or, si tenemos alguna pregunta que sea en plural, when we are talking about prices, how much are these cars? They are, they are uh, $20,000. Ok, no sé si hay dudas, questions about, esto se ocupa a lot, right? A lot. Una duda, Tisha. Yes, Jonathan. Yo creo que acá no, 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 no se ha mencionado eh, la, la pregunta que es how many. Mm -hmm. How many? Pero, so... ah, ¿Cuál es la diferencia de how many con how much? Ok, el how much se utiliza cuando estamos, lo vamos a ver más adelante también, pero es bueno saberlo también. El how much lo vamos a utilizar cuando tengamos o nos refiramos a palabras que son incontables. Para uncontable words. Por ejemplo, el agua, el dinero, eh, la arena, la sal. All of these are um, uncountable. Cuando nos referimos al how many, Vamos a que sean tan Eso lo van a ver ustedes más adelante, right? Muchas gracias. Ok, gracias. Ok, perfect. Yes, Alison. Teacher, y por, por ejemplo, en la pregunta, how much, how much is this car? Se podría responder también, it is so expensive. O sea, algo más en general. Yeah, you can say that, but yes, it is so expensive. 
pero de igual forma le está pidiendo una cantidad, ¿verdad? Tiene que ser de alguna forma. But oh, yes, okay. you can say that. Como agregar, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, yes, José. O sea que how much, en conclusión, podemos decir cuando se refiere a que me digan que me, yo espero, cuando yo espero una respuesta eh, numérica, digamos, en cantidad. Uh -huh. y, y el otro es, ¿cómo se llama? Es, ¿cómo se llama? Cuando es eh, algo que no me den cantidades o como no, no, eso quiero entender. Eh, si lo entendí bien, por este de how much, how many. ¿Esa es su duda? <coughs> how much, how much, how many. How many. Ok, esto recordemos que lo, ustedes lo van, lo van a ver más adelante. Pero eh, si lo queremos traducir, los dos tienen la misma traducción, solo que el uso tiene que utilizarse en, en diferente forma. El how many es para cosas contables. Por ejemplo, how many cars. Algo que usted pueda contar, right? How many cars uh, do you have? ¿Ok? Pero esto, como le digo, lo van a ver más adelante así. Por el momento solo quedémonos con el how much. Sí, la cosa es para entenderlo, porque si más adelante lo vamos a ver y no lo entendemos ahorita. No, vamos no, no, no se preocupe, este, esto, esto es algo, aquí lo que, eh, el objetivo de esta clase es que se pueda aprender el this y el that, el those y el, lo, los demostrativos, pero esto es algo extra. Ok. Ok. okay. Pero sí, es como decir, ¿cuántos carros tienen? Ese es el cable y el otro es el control. Ok, no sé si hay alguna pregunta. ¿Alguna pregunta, guys? Teacher. Yes, eh, Sofía. ¿Y cuándo vamos a saber cuando tenemos que utilizar that y this? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de esos dos? Ok, ahora recordemos que that, that, singular. Okay, that, muy bien. Escucho la respuesta, es para singular, right? Singular. Pero algo que está lejos, right? That, eso, aquello. En cambio, this, creo que ese fue el que me dijo, eh, Sofía, right? This es T cuando usted, ¿sí? ¿Es T es el T-H-E. Oh. Uh -huh. This one, this. Ah, uh, this. Yes. Uh -huh. This es para plurales, cosas plurales que usted tiene cerca. Por ejemplo, these eh, cell phones, right? These cell phones. Teacher. So we have, um, solo termino la, la idea, Jonathan. Okay. Le, ok, tenemos entonces these cell phones, right? Estos teléfonos. Cambio este, this, cell phone, singular, este. No sé si eh, está bien, eh, Sofía, con la, with the answer. Yes, teacher, thank okay. you. Okay. Yes, Jonathan, dígame. No, es que en realidad yo estaba tratando de entender que yo lo tengo como this, eh, acá lo había puesto como el ejemplo que quedaba para ti, y that es como para, para objetos, ¿no? Es para objetos. Todos los que estamos viendo acá son para objetos, right O personas también. Ah, por ejemplo, that cell phone, right That cell phone, ese teléfono, pero lo que está lejos. ¿Ok? También ah, tenemos no. otros dos cell phones. Eso es algo que está lejos suyo. Uh -huh. ¿Ya, Jonathan? ¿Tienes alguna otra duda? Sí, gracias. Ok. ¿Ya, sí. Dennis? ¿Questions? Sí. Eh, ¿Cómo se puede traducir entonces esa, a las oraciones que acaba de escribir? Ok. This one, ese, ese o aquel teléfono, right? Teléfono, claro. Vale. Teléfono. 
aquellos o esos también, aquellos o esos objetos, right? Luego tenemos este, este, tenemos esta, eh, después tenemos esos, esas, o aquellos, aquellas. That is like the translation if you want to do it. En cuanto a la traducción, guys, al principio está bien, right? Pero después ya tenemos que quitarnos el chip, right? De estar traduciendo. Porque si no, cuando estemos hablando, no se nos va a ser difícil. Así que try to, like, to identify when to use them. No sé si hay any other question. Question. Teacher, sale mm -hmm. una pregunta. Yes. Eh, en cuanto a this, este no es para decir estos o estas. These, esos, esas también. Eh, these, aquellos, aquellas. Acordémonos que este es plural, right? No sé si la entendí con esta. These. ¿Cuál fue la, lo que me dijo? ¿Cuál es la palabra? So, El this. Eh, th. Ajá. I, S, I. Mm -hmm. Ese no se dice para estos. Porque oh, según tenía entendido, eh, eh, dos es para esos o aquellos. Mm, estos, ah, oh, estos, ya yes, también estos, estas. Ya yes, sí, esa sería como otra forma. That is another possible way. También. It can be aquellos, aquellas. Can be. Okay, let's see. No more questions or yes, Dennis? No questions? No. no? Okay, good guys. So let's practice, right? The point here, the objective is that you can identify when to use that, those, these, and these. In cuanto a la pronunciation, right? This, eh, lo vamos a pronunciar with the letter S at the end. El sonido es S. En cambio, this one, el sonido lo vamos a hacer con la sonido de la Para que se entienda la diferencia. Vamos a utilizar el verbo. To identify. Ok, let's. Practice. Vamos a practicar, right? Okay. Uh, I want you to write four sentences. Cuatro oraciones. Utilizando this, that, those, and these. Primera, this. Vamos a hacer una oración with this. That. These. And those. Okay, I need four sentences. Okay, podemos escribirlas en el chat. Or if you have in your notebook, you can do it. Okay, example. This is my sister. That is my book. This is my house, etc. Okay, so I'm going to give you some time to then speak through your sentences.
That's a good one, Karina. Yes. Thank you, Kimmy. Write them in the chat box too. Yep. A two minute poem. Hello, I'm a compartment in your sentences. See another that English book. Okay, tratemos de hacer oraciones completas, right? Utilizar el verbo. These are your shoes. Muy bien, Gabriela. That's a good one. Por ejemplo, si tenemos that English book is mine or is blue. Usualmente English va con mayúscula, right? Capital letter. These are your shoes, okay? Very good. Okay, two minutes more, and then you share your sentences. Excellent, Alison. This is my love, okay? Very good, Jose. Let's see, maybe this is my book, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Y vamos a ver esta oración. Quiero que pongamos atención. Tenemos esta. That shoes are black. Hay un error in that sentence. There is a mistake. There is an error. ¿Cuál podría ser el error? Que está en singular. Exactly. Como tenemos la palabra shoes en el verbo con indica plural, right? Vamos a utilizar ya sea these or those. Okay, good. Y another one. This is my house. Okay, this pencil is blue. Excellent, Alejandra. This is my golden fish. Uh -huh. My golden. Tenemos los adjetivos. Van antes de la palabra, lo que vimos el día de ayer. Okay. This is my car. Muy bien, Emma. This is my pencil. Ok, Roxana. Ok, vamos a ver. Eh. This one, Roxana. Ok, vamos a ver. This one. Teacher. Uh -huh. Una pregunta. Yes, la, la forma gramati gramatical de construir la oración en el singular y el plural varía. En singular, sí, sí. Porque recordemos que... El, varía el orden de... Eh, el el orden. verbo. El verbo y la... Y el complemento. Eh, sí, sí. Si estamos en una oración en singular, cambia el verbo, cambia el demostrativo y cambia la palabra. Por ejemplo... Okay. Por, por ejemplo, acá eh, voy a tomar el ejemplo de Roxana, que escribió aquí en el chat. En uh, el... Those are your friends. Uh -huh. está, está bien. Está bien. Ok. Ok. Solo que vamos a ver un ejemplo con that. That is my pencils. ¿Cuál será el error en this? There is a problem. Me lleva la S en pencil. <laughs> yes, right. Me equivoqué. Don't worry. Tengamos cuidado porque eso también en un examen eh, puede salir muy mal. Ok, perfect, Roxana. Las otras. Bien, these are my. Ok, tenemos otro por aquí. Tenemos these are my notebook. ¿Cuál es el mistake? ¿Cuál es el error en this sentence? These, estos, esos. Are my. No. Que solo está hablando de un, de un libro. Cuaderno. Cuaderno. Exacto. Me falta la, la S del plural de los notebooks. Mm -hmm. en, una le, en una le hizo falta y en otra no. 
le, 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 le faltaba. Take care, guys. Okay, good. These are my books. My notebooks. Let's see another. Muy bien. Those. Okay, aquí tenemos otra. Right. Por eso es importante que practiquemos. Así podemos ver mejorar. Tenemos esta oración. Those. Interesting. What is the mistake? What is the error in that sentence? Falta la S. Mm. Podemos agregarla, ok. Podemos agregar la S. ¿Y qué más? El verbo to be tendría que ser are. Perfect. Very good, guys. Muy bien. Siempre que tengamos una palabra plural, que tiene que ir concordado con el verb to be más el demonstrative, right? Tiene que concordar. Y el John that are you house estaría ah, bien. Es ahí vamos a ver. That are your house. That are your house. Very good. What is the mistake? ¿Cuál sería el error? Out is singular. Okay. ¿Cómo puedo arreglarlo? That is. Mm -hmm. That is. That is. That is singular. Mm -hmm. Singular. That is. Let's see another. Okay. Okay. We have them. Okay. Tenemos otra por acá. Those. Those book, those book is interesting. Yeah, those book is interesting. What is the mistake? What's the error? Those, those, those is plural. Mm -hmm. Those is plural. Is plural. Entonces tendría que ser those books. That's is right. Are. ¿Qué más? What else? R. Is, ahí tiene que ser R. R. Okay. R. Yes, R. Right. R. Those books are interesting. Very good. Those houses over there are beautiful. Muy bien, Alejandra. Okay. There you have. I don't know if you have questions. Okay. Very good, guys. Good. Mm -hmm. We are learning right this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's mm -hmm. practice. We're going to practice this topic. Give me just a moment. Okay, you are going to tell me, right? Vamos a utilizar uh, that or those or things that are not near her. We have example. This phone is new. Then we have the word. Let's go with number two. Closet. Dos. Okay, let's see. Where is the closet? Is it far? That. 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 Why that? Singular. Yes. Vamos a utilizar that. We have books. Are about business. Veamos dónde están los books. They are far, right? Those. 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 the computer. This. Mm -hmm. This. 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 What about yes. pens? Those. This. Well, sir, this. 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 These. 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 Then we have window. It's open. That. 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 Yes. That. that window. Yeah. It's open. Very good. Then we have papers are for the meeting. These. These. That's right. Perfect. Good pronunciation. These. These. Then we have cabinet is for paper clips, folders, and general office things. Those. No. That. Yeah, right. The cabinet. Those. Uh, mm. that. That's right. Estamos that. Here is the cabinet. Oh. 
right? Yeah. So it is going to be that, porque está lejos, right? That. The next picture is a photograph of her family. That. Muy bien, that. Then we have uh, number 10, folders. Folders, right? Here we have the folders. These. 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 Perfect. These. 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 <coughs> okay, good job, guys. Excellent. Congratulations. Did I do the answer questions? Um, uh, tengo una duda. Yes, uh, Jose. Uh, si la diferencia entre el number three y number seven. Number Una es dos y otra es these. Eh, ambos eran en plural y eran cosas, digamos, eh, libros y papel. Uh -huh. Pero cuando estamos viendo que eh, de, cuando un objeto esté cerca, vamos a utilizar el this. Los papers uh -huh. están cerca, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso estamos utilizando el this. En cambio, uh -huh. los libros están lejos. Okay. Entonces, okay. Ambos, ambos son plurales, pero uno está lejos y otro está cerca. Ahí está. Yes. Ok. Thank you. Y en plural, right? Plural. Sí, correcto. Ok. There you go, guys. Ok. So, let's practice this topic. Vamos a hacer uh, the following presentation in pairs. Ok. Vamos a hacer una presentation in pairs. Ok, so what we are going to do is that you are going to create a short presentation describing the objects, right, from a workplace. You're going to present a picture and for each student, you must present six sentences. This is four types of the most of these. Okay, vamos a hacer una presentación very short one. Vamos a describir los objetos eh, de la imagen. Podemos elegir una del workplace, del lugar de trabajo. Y por cada estudiante vamos a presentar seis oraciones. De esas oraciones vamos a utilizar todos los demostrativos que hemos utilizado. This, that, those, these ones, etc. En total, eh, como vamos a trabajar en pareja, van a ser 12 oraciones. Ok, no sé si hay dudas. Uh -huh. La imagen va a ser esa que nos está mostrando oh. ahorita. You can choose the one you want. Ustedes pueden escoger la que sucede. Parecido a lo que acabamos de hacer acá, right? In the picture. Solo que les voy a pedir que en la presentación no incluyamos ningún texto. Solo la imagen. And you start describing Yes, okay. No sé si hay alguna otra duda. Any question? Siempre deben de ir al inicio el this, el those, el this. Mm. Not, not, no. En preguntas cambian. En preguntas cambian eh, la posición del this. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, tenemos una por acá. En pregunta, primero es el verbo to be, right? This is your report. Tenemos otro mm -hmm. ejemplo. How much are these? Okay. Uh -huh. En pregunta, sí. Eh, primero va el, el verbo to be y luego ya sea this, or that, or those. Okay. Uh -huh. En afirmative, afirmative si sí, va al inicio. Yes. Yes. Okay. Afirmative, yes. También en negativas, right? Por ejemplo, these books are not mine. Right? This is wrong. Or these are not my books. Negativa y afirmativa. Okay, no sé si hay alguna otra duda. Any other question? Teacher, uh -huh. eh, vamos a hacer seis oraciones y de las seis oraciones vamos a incluir las cuatro. 
estas cuatro, yes. y las otras dos las podemos hacer negativas también. Tratemos de incluir eh, negative en affirmative sentences. Okay. Uh -huh. Serían seis for each student, right? Okay, so let's go to the breakout rooms. I will be sharing the information in the chat box. So I'm gonna give you like, uh, let's see, at eight, you're going to be ready. What is it in las ocho, eight? I'm sorry, at nine. Eh, solo tengo una duda este, sobre qué vamos a describir, o sea, sobre las oraciones. Okay. ¿Sobre qué van a hacer? Podemos elegir una imagen de internet, right? Acerca del workplace y esa presentamos. And that's it. You can choose that. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, we can do that, right? Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms, guys. And at 8.03, we're going to be back. Let's Hello, Magali, Dora, Stephanie. Hello, Veronica. Hola, hola. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Veronica, Stephanie. What happened, ladies? Sí. ¿Qué pasó, Verónica? Teacher, uh -huh. eh, good evening. Así es, vea. Eh, perdón, es que, es que no sé qué pasó, pero, pero bueno, ya, bendito Dios que ya, ya pude. Así es que lo siento, disculpe por, por la tardanza. Ah, tú tenía problemas usted. Sí, no, desde ya hace rato, hace buen rato, estaba intentando y no, no. No podía, me, me, me rebotaba al darle ingresar. Así es que a, ahí me ayudó Alejandra y me dijo que me fuera directo a Zoom, a, 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 ¿verdad? Y que, y que pusiera lo, el, el ID y la contraseña y, y así pude. Ah, va, está bien. Uh -huh. eh, este, bueno, guarde bien eso para que en su navegador, ¿verdad? O en su teléfono sí. para que no se le vaya a perder. Estamos trabajando en una, en una presentación. 
les he mandado la información en el grupo de WhatsApp. Me indica si tiene alguna duda, porque vamos a hacer eso. Ok. Uh -huh. Ya, voy, voy, ya voy, a, voy a revisar ahorita. Entonces, ok, gracias. Okay, gracias. Voy a ver si la puedo enviar con un grupo. Ok. Let's go to the breakout rooms y me indica. If you have questions. Hey, Verónica. Let's go. Sorry guys, my bad. <laughs> Yo hablando, bien <y> inspirada. <laughs> okay. Then we are going to be back. See you soon.
Bueno, me escucha. Okay, guys, let's start. I'm going to be five volunteers who want to present. Volunteers? No? Okay. So I'm going to um, generate a number, right? And if you have in group of the WhatsApp, I shared uh, some groups. Oh, Stephanie. Stephanie, do you want to be the first one? Do you want to present, Stephanie? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Then, so, uh, sí. the partner is Wendy, right? Eh, no. Uy, no me fijé cómo se llamaba. Espérenme. <laughs> no, no, Karina, Karina. Ok, Karina. Hey, can you share your screen, please? Eh, solo, eh, hice cuatro, cuatro oraciones. Ok. Sí. Me too. Eh, bye, ok. The supermarket is big. Okay, do you uh, have, okay, sorry, sorry, Karina, tenemos la imagen, do you have the picture? Para que podamos. Eh, lo, lo enviamos al, uh, al, al grupo. Okay, let me just, no, just eh, sí, mamá, okay. Okay, let me just share the screen. Okay, share the screen. Okay, entonces eh, this supermarket is big. Those prices are cheaper. This bottle or botellas, this bottle are black. That paper is cool. <laughs> eh, no sabía cómo decir papel higiénico. <laughs> Toilet paper. Toilet paper, okay. Entonces, that toilet paper is good. <laughs> it's good, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. O yo. Lo digo yo. Yes, yes, Stephanie. Okay. The, well, yo puse, this supermarket is short. <laughs> O sea, casi lo mismo, ella puso B y yo puse short. O sea, porque This de detergent is for cleaning. This is, no sé cómo se dice. This is, number are white. These numbers. ¿Cómo sería? This. These. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, pero. Pero this, right? This. E S E, right? Okay. This. This. Okay. Okay. This floor is white. Uh, solo esas puse cuatro puse. Okay. Just remember, cuando estamos hablando de lugares, um, this is a, a small, right? Small. Place. Cuando uh, utilizamos short, es, eh, nos referimos a la estatura de alguien. Short. short, 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 short. Okay. okay, very good. Eh, solo tengamos cuidado con los adjetivos. Los okay. adjetivos nunca van a llevar S. Cheapers, no. Nunca llevan los adjetivos de letter S. Okay. 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 Very good. Si las otras, okay. Hey, thank you. Chat, please. Las que nos hacen falta. Okay. Uh, let's go with the next group. Uh, maybe Liz or Gabriela want to start, or any other group. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, Andrea, your group is going to be. Are you going to share, Andrea, or do you want me to share? Your microphone, Andrea. Lo enviamos en el grupo. If you want, I can share. What is yours, Liz? Liz Vega. No. Room, uh, one. room one. Room one, okay. Let me, let me share if you want. Eh, 
Solo pude hacer cinco, teacher. The first is this computer is mine. Eh, the second, that clothes is a gift for my sister. Eh, the next is that these folders are important for my job. The four is those books are my favorite. And five, this coffee cup is not hot. Excellent, excellent, and uh, just take care with the pronunciation, right? Tengamos cuidado with the pronunciation. Recordemos que este es those, right? Those. 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 Then we have these. These. This. This. Solo como se me la These. Okay, excellent. The sentences were correct. Who is your, the next person? Who continues? Uh, me. Okay, go ahead, please. That cloak is orange. Uh, this chair is comfortable. This is a coffee cup. Those plants are beautiful. Those books are disorganized. And these folders are organized. Yes, these folders are perfect. Everything was well said. Okay, very good. Uh, is there somebody from the group? Is missing from the group? Gabriela and Andrea, who is missing? Dennis. Okay, Dennis, please go ahead. These are coffee cup. These my computer. That windows is clean that mirror is mine this book is mine these folders is black okay just tengamos cuidado Dennis with the pronunciation right Porque si no pronunciamos bien, podemos confundirnos. Por ejemplo, these folders, right? These. Podemos confundirlo con these, right? These folders. Estamos hablando en plural. Ok. Just take care with the pronunciation of these. Ok. Uh, let's see. The next group. Who is going to be the next group? I got Liz Vegas group, uh, room four, or Gomez. Okay, who is going to present? Okay, Alison, Alison. <laughs> the same picture, Alison. Yes. Okay. Para utilizarla. <laughs> okay, let's go, Alison. Okay, uh, with Raquel, we do um, conversation about the, the picture. Nosotros no hicimos las oraciones así por separado, oh, no. sino que hicimos como una videollamada, como si estuviéramos haciendo una videollamada. Okay, go ahead. Mientras usemos okay. the structure, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hola, hola. Hello, Alison. This is my new office. Oh, it is. It's so deep. Tell me about the, what you have. This is my Dex chair. Oh. Has a good color. The desert match with this plant. Yes, and uh, and I have a those book. Oh, and that computer is new. No, 
the is not new. Okay, that's it. That's yes. it. Okay, perfect. Just take care with the some sentences, right? Start with some sentences. For example, I have a those books. Book. Porque estamos hablando de plural. Tenemos que utilizar a. Okay. Porque eh, perdería sentido de sentence. No tendría mucho sentido. Ok. Tengamos cuidado with A. Ok. Excellent. So, who is going to continue? ¿Quién más va a presentar? Who is going to present? Ok. I got Gomez. Ok. Let's see who is missing. Ok. Andrea, Dennis, they are done. Let's go with Alejandra, Emma, and Jonathan. Are you there? Alejandra, yes. Emma, and Jonathan. Okay. Where is your picture? Do you have it there? Sandra, compártela. Okay, perfect. Listo. Creo que es la misma, pero... <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, this... Perdón. Uh... Uh, this is a marble desk. This is windows are clean. And this is a green chair. This is laptop is black. This is not my cook. This is windows are clean. This lamp is orange. Those are my books. Those flower pots are beautiful. Those floors are perfect. That is my clock. No sé si es Okay, perfect. Thank you, Alejandra, Jonathan, and Emma. Let's see some of the sentences, right? Remember that the purpose is to uh, improve, mejorar, right? To improve uh, what we present, right? Our way to say the things. Let's see, we have the first sentence. Uh, this, this is windows windows are clean okay, recordemos que these right these okay, these windows are sí, clean. Sí, era these windows okay. mm -hmm. pero ese justo ajá ese justo que, que lo dices ajá no no era así <laughs> mm -hmm. entonces tengamos cuidado with pronunciation porque se entiende of the other way. Okay. Bien, se escuchó. This is laptop. Is right. Is black. Entonces, no. This laptop, right? This laptop is black. Okay, tengamos cuidado with the word cap. A cap, cap. Okay, and uh, yes, tengamos cuidado también those. Floor, those floor are perfect. Perfect. Entonces, como es plural, we have to say those floors, right? Or those flowers mm -hmm. are perfect. Always, siempre, 
pronunciando la S, sí es plural, no hay presentes. Ok, let's listen another group. Dora, Magali, and Veronica. Ready, ladies? Uh, teacher, no sé si estarán bien. Uh -huh. eh, puse una donde, en base a la imagen que usted nos mandó, donde aparece ahí la secretaria. Eh, puse, what is that new partner? Who is that? Uh -huh. No sé si estará bien. Who is that? Después. La otra puse dos, dos sweater are color yellow and red. No sé si estará bien. Aquí okay, vamos a ver that sentence. Dos, dos sweater are color yellow okay. and dos sweaters. Yes. Dos sweater are color uh -huh. yellow and red. En red. Ok, tengamos cuidado porque en uh -huh. español lo decimos, son de color, pero en inglés no, no, lo, no se utiliza tanto así. Entonces, uh -huh. Those sweaters are yellow and red. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. No, no lo traducimos. Ok, continue, please. Um, how much are those books? How much are those books, right? Are are those books? Uh, la respuesta, how much are those? Esa no. sería otra pregunta. How much are those? O sea, sería la respuesta de esa. No. 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 Entonces no la hice no. bien. No. Cuando tenemos how much, recordemos que tenemos dos formas de contestar, ¿verdad? En este caso, como es plural, ¿cómo la contestaríamos? How much are those books? Yes, are those. No. <laughs> ¿Cómo la podemos responder? How much are those books? How much? Uh -huh. oh, Vimos my. esa parte. Uh -huh. Utilizamos they are. They, they are. are. Uh -huh. They are $20. $20. Yes. Good. Okay, that's a good one. Muy bien, Verónica. Perdón, Dora. Okay, continue, eh, Dora. Última, pues, eh, that window is white. Is white. Okay, that window, right? No. That window mm -hmm. is, is white. white. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Ok, from the group, no sé, ¿alguien del grupo? No. Teacher, uh -huh. teacher. Yes, y Dorita. esa, eh, bueno, ja, ando perdida, pero bueno, lo poquito que entendí, este, eh, esta que elaboré que di, hice, this is a window. Ok, es que se escucha this is a window, eso está bien, uh -huh. this is a window. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. y, ay, this a computer. A computer. Okay, this is right. This is a, a computer. Computer, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. This is está a bien. computer. Sí, está bien. Vaya, ya no puedo más. <risa> 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 Quiero llorar. <risa> Eso es terrible, ¿sabe? Pero bueno. <risa> <risa> no, es de práctica. It's just the practice, right? Es sí. más que todo. Sí, 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 sí. Yeah. Okay. 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 Very good. Very good. Estamos Teacher. practicando, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yo hice unas. Igual no sé si estarán bien. Vaya. This book is blue. Mm -hmm. This book is blue. No mm -hmm. sé. Sí. 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 Oh. Oh. That reloj. No sé cómo se dice reloj. No. De pared. O oh, de reloj. Ajá. O de mano. No, de pared. De pared. It is the, pared. It is the clock, right? Clock, right. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. That clock, right, is big. Ok, that. Uh -huh. uh, those shows are my sister. No sé. Sí, ok, sí. those, ¿qué? Those, those shows, zapatos. 
Ajá. Oh, shoes, those shoes. Ah, shoes, perdón, shoes. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, are my sister, le puse yo, pero no sé si es correcto. Are my sisters, right? My sisters, son de mi hermana. Sí. Okay. Very good, yes. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Y la otra. This, this color um, are beautiful. Beans, no sé. Beans, colors. Colors, colors. Are beautiful. beautiful. Correct. Por eso les enfoco tanto, right? Ter, eh, tratemos de hacer la pronunciación uh, almost identical, right? Porque a veces podemos decir these colors, okay? pero no se identifica si es singular o plural, right? That's why I insist a lot to make that emphasis. Okay, sorry, continue, Magali. Okay. Solamente uh cuatro. -huh. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's continue with the next partners. We have. Uh... Teacher. Yes, Jose. Teacher. Yep. Um, sí. Nosotros, eh, bueno, con con qué, con maybe. Um, intentamos una, solo que la imagen no sé cómo compartir. If you want, you can share it for in WhatsApp, right? And I can share it for yeah. you. Oh, you okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Perfect. There you have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, dime, those clothes are in the office. Um, Thames. This pencil in the workplace. Uh, this computer in the workspace. Y el último que hicimos es those picture in the office. Okay, that's it. Eh, José, that's it? Sí, yes. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a ver unas oraciones. No, sí. no sé cómo salirme de aquí. No, no don't worry. Yo, yo lo puedo. Yo puedo. Ah, ok. okay. So, you. tengamos cuidado, please, con la estructura de las oraciones. Eh, escuché, this computer. This no. computer. Era this. This. These, these, these computers, right? In the office. No, this, this computer, uh -huh. computer, this computer, computer, computers in the office. In the office. Okay. And recordemos que todo are. necesita un verbo. Le hace falta okay. el verbo. These are. computers. Are in the office. Okay, okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Tengamos cuidado con eso. Okay, very good, Jose. Okay, let's listen another group. Let me see. I have. Uh, who is missing? Okay, oh, Roxana and Victor. Okay, let's go, guys, please. Uh, con Victor hicimos solamente cuatro oraciones, teacher. Ok, tell me, Puedo compartirle la, la, la imagen. The picture? Yes, ok, go ahead, please. Bueno, no, 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 quiero... Sí. Ya. Este... La, las oraciones que hicimos es The table is big The crop is small Those utensils are in order These chairs are made of wood Podemos hacer una reflexión o a mí en torno al tema relacionado con esto. 
Teacher. ¿Sí? Bueno, en mi caso hice unas, agregué unas cuantas. No sé si las puedo. Quiero ver. Bueno, no sé, fam, family es family o family. Family, right. Family, mm -hmm. That family is very nice. Uh, this is a mar marble table. Es como mármol. Marble. <laughs> uh, that house is a is a big or is big. It's big. That house is big. Y this this como concept of fin. This these chests are really. These dishes, dishes, dishes. Are ready. 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 Okay. ready. Okay. okay. Very good, Victor. That's a uh, very, very good sentences. Okay. Let's listen another group, right? Um. Let me see. Karina and Stephanie. Are you ready, Karina and Stephanie Diaz? Ya pasamos. Oh, sorry, primeras. sorry, sorry. Betty, Alison, and Raquel. Ya también ya pasamos. Okay, okay, ya pasamos. Okay. okay, okay. Let's see who is missing. Jose and maybe. Ya. Yes. Who is missing? Ya. Yeah. Okay, okay. Dora, Magali, and Veronica. Don or no? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yeah. Wendy, what about you, Wendy? <laughs> ah, Wendy, right. <laughs> okay, Wendy and Sofía Portillo, right? Okay, comenzaré con las oraciones. Okay, go ahead. This is the new desk. That computer is on. These drawers are full. Those staplers are empty. This is not my favorite plant. This lamp aren't white. That's Agregamos otra. Y entré en la pequeña duda que han estado, por ejemplo, diciendo that window is big. Es correcto. Así that window, right. That uh -huh. window is big. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque vi que estaban poniendo en... Eh, hace rato que ponían que llevaba el is... El, ah, oh, okay. that big, that window, porque si es una, right. That uh -huh. window is big. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, this chair is fire. Fire. Es como está lejos. Far, yes. Far, okay. Mm -hmm. This mouth is black. black. Thousand books are very expensive. And these pencils are short. Shorts, pero no sé cómo sería ahí la... Okay, yes, so those, those pencils, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And finish. Okay, very good, right? Those, these, very good. Okay, excellent, guys. I don't know if you have questions about the topic before continue. No? Okay, so we're going to have a short quiz. So let's go to the following link. Okay, and the last person is going to have a penalty, by the way. Que quede en último lugar. It's going to have a penalty. Okay, let's go to the link, please, and write your name. Let's go. Okay, Sofia Portillo, it's there. 
Okay, Gabriela. Okay, Roxanne, Alison. Let me just share my screen. Mm -hmm. okay, let's see. Okay, hurry up, guys. I got only 10. I read the others. We got 20, right? Jonathan, okay, it's there. Uh -huh. Victor, okay, where are the others, guys? Let's see, Dennis, are you there, Dennis? Oh, yes, yes, I can see you, Roxana, yes, Alison. Oh, yes, there you are, Emma. Where are you, Emma? Dora, where are you, Dora? Okay, and the others, guys, todavía, hace falta. Stephanie Diaz, let's see, Stephanie. I don't see you here, Stephanie. Okay, nobody else is going to join. No, okay. Let's go then with the game. Guys, let's see Andrea. Okay, very good, Andrea. Okay, let's see Jonathan, two second, and Gabriela. Also, mm -hmm. the others got a very good score, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see the sentences. Vamos a ver some of the sentences. Okay, what is this? What is the answer in this? What is la, the, the answer? Sería these, that, these, or those. Tenemos la palabra caos. 
is this. Uh -huh. Over there is allá. Oh, yes. Over there. Entonces sería no. those. 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 Yes. So. What about squirrels eat acorns? What is the option? These? No. Yes, these, those. Oh. Those. Okay, bastante bien, right? We need to practice more, but say that we did a good job. Okay, guys, just before going to the last activity, vamos a ver a video, right? And we are going to complete the following activity. I want you to pay attention and uh, tell me what the video is about. Okay, let's check this video and tell me in English, right, what the video is about. Let's see. Excuse me? Um, hello? Hi. My name is Molly. What's your name? I'm Peter. My friends call me Pete. My friends call me Molly. <laughs> Hi, Pete. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Are you a student here? Yes, I am. My class is at 9 o'clock with Miss Taylor. Miss Taylor? She's my teacher. You're in my class. Great. Where is our class? Uh, it's over there. I'm Peter. Peter Crum. I'm in your class. Hi, Peter. Nice to meet you. Hello. What's your name? I'm Molly. I'm in your class, too. Hello, Holly. Um, is that H-O-L-L-Y? No, it's Molly. M-O-L-L-Y. M-O-L-L-Y. Molly. Hmm. What's your last name, Molly? Lynn. L-I-N. Peter Crum and Molly Lynn. Uh, wait. Excuse me. Are you Miss Taylor? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I'm Mrs. Smith. Miss Taylor is in room 203 over there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Have a good day. Goodbye. Bye. Hello, Miss Taylor? Yes. I'm Molly Lynn. Hi, Molly. Nice to meet you. Oh, here you are. Welcome, Molly. Thank you. Hi, I'm Peter. Peter Crum. Crum. Ah, here you are. Welcome, Peter. Okay, let's begin class. Okay, there you have. What is the video about? In English, tell me. What is the video about? Mm -hmm. It's about the first the first day of class. It is about very good. It is about the first day in class. El teléfono de la niña se lo hubiera dado de un solo. Help me with the with the background, please. Okay, so another idea, another idea. What else can we say about the video? They are confused about the classroom and the teacher. They are confused about 
the classroom. Oh, no, the teacher, right? The classroom. And teacher. And teacher. Very good. Another idea? Mm -hmm. What else? What else, guys? What happened at the beginning? ¿Qué pasó al principio? What happened? La presentación de ellos. The beginning. Es mm -hmm. el no, no, nay. Oh, they meet, right? Or oh, they met in the hall. Uh -huh. In spell. They spell, right? They spell their names. Yes. Uh -huh. They are at the same class. <coughs> are at the same class. Very good. And what are the teacher's name? Do you remember? Taylor. As one is Taylor, and what is the other person? Molly. There is Molly. They are Molly. Molly and Peter. 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 Hey, okay, there you go, guys. Excellent. Last name. Mm -hmm. Last name L E M. L. L yes, right. The last name, right? The L last name. E N. Lean, right? Yes, that is the last name. Okay, so now that you have an idea, let's go over this part. And you are going to tell me the answer in this section. Okay, let's see. The first one. Uh, see, can you see my screen? Yep. Okay, let's see. Yep, okay. We have Peter's nickname is... Pete, what is Molly's friends call her? How do they Molly. call her? Molly? Molly. 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 Right, Molly. It, it was Molly. What about Peter? Is Molly's friend or classmate? Classmate. And mm -hmm, classmate. Molly in Peter's class is at what time? Nine. 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 Nine, right, 9 a.m. What about number five? Miss Mrs. Smith is Molly's and Peter's teacher or is not Molly and Peter's teacher? Is not, not Molly and Peter. Is not Molly and Peter's teacher. Not Molly and Peter teacher. What about Miss Taylor's class is in room? Which one? Two o three. O three. O three. Three. Right. Okay, and the last activity you are going to do, guys, it's you are going to complete the following section, right? The last minute. Okay, this. You're going to watch the video and you are going to complete the words that are missing. Okay, so I'm going to share this activity. But if you have your cell phone, you can go, but you will work alone okay so i'm gonna share the link and the activity okay, let's see let's go to whatsapp ahí les voy a compartir y pongamos atención right? voy a i'm gonna mute myself para que no tengamos interferencia y así ustedes puedan identificar las palabras Veamos el video y completamos the missing words, right? No sé si hay dudas about the activity. Do you have doubts, guys? Questions, guys, about the activity? Okay. So let's go. Okay, and I'm going to mute myself.
slides, let me know. Did you finish? Oh no, yet. Yes. Yes, okay, perfect, Gabriela. Okay, what about the others? Did you finish? Yes. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go then to the answer, right? Let's see. Okay, you read the first one, please, Gabriela. Let's see. You read them, please, Gabriela. In the first one, I hear hi, but I don't know. Excuse me. Oh, yes, right. Continue. Uh -huh. Hi. My name is Molly. Mm -hmm. uh, what's, what's your name? Uh, I'm Peter. My friends call me Pity. Mm. And Molly, my friends call me Molly. Hi, Pity. It's nice to meet you. Uh, it's nice to meet you too. Hey, Molly, are you starting here? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. My class is at nine o'clock with Miss Taylor. Miss Taylor, she's my teacher. You mm -hmm. are in my class. Great. Okay. I don't know what. <laughs> Sorry, Gabriela. Um, Sorry, let, let me just see where to have the yes. Okay, so you said, uh, okay, can you please do me a favor and repeat them, please? I'm gonna write them here. Okay. Hello, hi, right. This hi. was hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, hi. Mm -hmm. My name is Molly. Yes, right, my name is Molly. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Yes, what's your name? Yeah, I'm Peter. Um, my Peter. Yeah. Call me Pity. Uh -huh. My friends. Yeah. Okay, my friends. My friends call me right. Call, call me Pity. Pity. Uh -huh. Only my friends call me Molly. Molly. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, hi, Pity. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Peter, it's nice to meet you too. Yeah. Are you a star in here? Are you a star? Uh, Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. My class is at nine o'clock with Miss Taylor. And Miss Taylor, she's my teacher. You are my, my class. You are in my class. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, yes, right. Okay, guys. So as you can see, uh, this was just a useful practice, right? So if you don't have questions, guys, I don't want to take too much time. Recordemos que tenemos 10 minutos for if somebody wants to reinforce a topic, ya les pasé asistencia. So, I hope you have a great weekend, right? A, a great week. So, no questions, guys. If not, I will say goodbye to you. Have a good night and see you next week. Good night. Okay, good night, guys. Take care. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Yo, yo no, yo no escuché cuando pasó. El... No, yo les, mientras estaban haciendo el video, yo les pasé. Ah, el... ok, ok, ok. Thank okay. you. No Good problem. night. Good night. See you guys. Good night. Good night, everybody. See you.